Ladies and gentlemen, seven wonderful novels. Congratulations to everybody. Seven incredible writers who in such different ways, and you've had snatches of it just now, have taken us, along with readers from far and wide, on shared voyages of discovery and insight. But a winner there must be. Katie and judges have made their decision and it falls for me simply to announce these days. Thank you so much. Um, it feels, it feels, it feels incredible. It, it hasn't quite sunk in. It, it was just, a, it was a surge of emotion. Um, I still feel I'm haven't haven't quite crested it yet. I think first of all, I have to pay tribute to the extraordinary novels um, by my fellow writers on this shortlist. Such breadth, such range. It felt this is the first historical novel that I've written, and it felt something very urgent and special finding the stories of those who'd lived through the Blitz and gathering them and weaving them together into something. Writing a novel is so long and so hard and I write short stories as well and so what the award does is it, it just shores up the next few years for me. For others, there is no choice. They've lost their homes, their streets, their everything. She gets out of bed then quietly so as not to disturb Philip, stands in the middle of the landing Behind each of these three doors, she thinks, my children are sleeping. Paul and Audrey and Emma, my poor Emma, who came in finally and went straight to bed without washing, without even speaking, but home at last and safe. You haven't lost so much as a tile from your roof, she thinks, a hair from your head. You have everything. Thank you. I'm researching something at the moment and it's very slow and you never quite know if it'll come to anything at all. But I can, I suppose, deep sea dive, you know, in the knowledge that, that it, it's safe to do that.